Hello Capricorn, Sun, and Moon, Rising, Venus, Cross Watchers, very welcome. Welcome to your reading guys. Thank you for all joining me here today and um, I hope you've been really well. Welcome to all the new subscribers, there's been loads. Thanks so much guys for clicking the subscribe button. Make sure you do if you haven't already. So we've got, oh, Deja Vu, Past Life, Karmic Lessons, Repeated Patterns. Already I'm getting that you feel Mm, a little bit stuck in this kind of vicious circle with your person like um just repeated behavior the same old same old like just stuck in a kind of loop um with their their kind of behavior hmm. somebody here could have a karmic too and they're, they're learning lessons from them which will help with your connection in the end Oh, and running, ghosting, disappearing, being invisible. Okay. Oh, so this person obviously currently is um, running at the moment. Okay. I feel like you're, see, this is, this is what I'm getting, like this repeated pattern. They may have done this quite a lot um, and literally ghosted. Okay. Um... So I just feel you're you're feeling a bit fed up, a bit exhausted about the situation with this person. It's like you, I feel, obviously would want to like talk things through. And honestly, there could be things that, you know, maybe could be sorted out with like a 10 minute conversation, but you can't contact this person or they just, they just ignore you, whatever it is. Um, so really frustrating. So that's what I'm getting so far. Um, for some people here, it won't be for everyone, obviously, these are, these are general um, readings, but somebody could keep running back to like a karmic person, mm, you know, when they do that, it's, there's still lessons to be learned for you and them, you know, so what we think about, we kind of bring about, so you could fear that they are going to ghost again, they're going to you know run back to this karmic maybe always thinking the karmic's kind of around and then they kind of do that you know mm. okay i kind of feel like that wanted to come out um influences dark attachments and third parties so depending on your situation that could be a karmic person or it could just be some third party thing like a um, an addiction, a substance abuse, drugs, alcohol, gambling, a sex addiction, um, even honestly, like the third party, something that gets in the way, it could just be like um, this person's way of thinking, you know, it just hasn't really changed. Um, so yeah, I just feel like at the moment you are a little bit exhausted of this person you know running and just feeling like feeling like they are never going to change okay the changes start with us guys so honestly you've got to think of like the new version you want of your person okay and eventually they will show up in the 3d in that way all right, but at the moment it's just like, yeah, I just feel you're thinking they haven't changed. Um, same old, same old with them, the same kind of like bullshit. Um, but yeah, so currently at the moment you guys could be not talking at all. I don't really feel there's any communication going on right now. Um, and this person has kind of disappeared into the ether. Hmm. I'm going to get a couple of moon oracles. We'll get some tarot as well before we go on to how they're feeling hmm see now don't let your past hold you back okay don't let don't hold on to like thoughts of like what has gone on between the two of you is constantly going to be repeat it you know you, you may be thinking well they did this before they're probably going to do this again at some point and it is kind of repeating here we've got to watch your thoughts guys okay so don't kind of let 
the past way like you viewed yourself, the past way you viewed your person and the past way you viewed the relationship as a whole. Don't let that kind of keep being the story that you tell yourself and then the one that comes to fruition in the 3D, okay? Let that go um, and envision the new story and live in the end, you know? Really, ideally, live in the end. So you are a person of value, you know? And you are never an option. You know, whatever kind of affirmations you want to say to yourself. Um, but you are now, you're already in a healthy relationship with this person. Whatever it is that you, you want, okay? So I feel like that's really important. Ooh, a death. Death. Okay, Scorpio energy. So, as I said at the beginning, I'm getting a feeling of someone just being very um, over this situation a bit, feeling like their person's not going to change, um, just feeling kind of bored, exhausted with like the same old stuff coming up. Um, so, like, yeah, in your mind, I kind of feel this. This is over this is kind of as far as it can go unless like they have some major transformation okay whoa hmm okay so we've got queen of cups five of cups so there has been obviously a lot of heartache and um, sadness around this for you currently. And I feel like just now you are kind of learning to pour love into your own cup, which is great. You know, it's the thing. We want to start with ourselves and love for ourselves, okay? And that's the main thing. Start with love for yourself and you're learning to do that and it's kind of taken this kind of heartbreak um, for you to start doing that, you know, for you to get to the point where um, you're fed up. So like you're turning, you're going within, which is really good. Okay. So again, there may have been a third party here. It's coming up. So the thing is though, you obviously... I mean, there's no doubt about it. You're you're sad that it's kind of at this point that things, you know, things are the way they are just now, and it feels like a loss, you know, like like a kind of death here. Um, so, like energetically, six of swords, you you've kind of moved on in terms of. You've like moved away from this person for now, okay? It doesn't obviously have to be forever, but you are just trying to get like peace within yourself, okay? Move away from from any kind of like conflict. Um, you're just wanting like a peaceful life just now. So let's see how this person is feeling, right? Or I, I may be wrong, but already I'm feeling like this person <laughs> may feel like the opposite to you. I don't know. Let's just see what we get. But what we think about, we bring about and how how people come into a reality are a reflection of our thoughts about like them and yourself and stuff. So honestly, I think this is what this card is really highlighting. Um, you may feel like deluded for a bit, but if you envision, you know, exactly how you want your person to show up and how your relationship is and, and like you're in a committed relationship now and, you know, and like, how you feel about yourself, like you are valued, and etc. That is what eventually will show up, okay? Fantasy. 
All right, this is my Knight of Wands card in this deck. So you may be dealing with a fire sign. Doesn't have to be. Um, I do feel there is a lot of passion here and this person is fantasizing about you. And also like imagining their life with you, you know, imagining like what could be with you, what they would like things to be like with you. Illusions. Hmm, cloud of judgment, unbalanced, skewed. I do feel, I mean, see that cloud of smoke? Um, somebody could well have addiction issues here and it just, um, it makes them kind of inconsistent, unreliable. Um, they, literally what I'm getting is they've got their head in the clouds a little bit and living in like a kind of fantasy world at times. So could be quite a dreamer your person um they're just not seeing things in the clearest of ways right now for whatever reason it is um in your situation but they do like daydream about you it's that chemistry um loyalty dedication trust reliability so hmm so even though they're kind of not on, like in the clearest of minds they do recognize your loyalty to them and that you are someone um completely trustworthy probably one of few people in their lives that they really can trust without a doubt um and you know i feel like you have been very dedicated to this person in the past and like probably supported them quite a lot um just like emotionally i feel like some of you may have supported this person financially as well okay um you know and like they want to they still want to be dedicated with you so this is what i was saying earlier like i kind of feel you've energetically moved on and you're kind of focusing on you but i feel like you still want things to work out and this person is kind of they're like the opposite they want things to work out but they're very much focused on you as well you know so i mean that's what kind of happens when you focus on yourself and you love yourself and you kind of become obsessed with yourself and recognizing your value then this person reflects that back to you and they turn their thoughts are very very much on you just now so you're about you and they are about you right now hmm this masculine okay yes somebody may be a smoker here um of normal cigarettes or like the old wacky backy or something Mm, your commitment is being tested. I'm going to get another one, actually. Yeah, I guess it's kind of like, how committed are you to this relationship? Ooh, okay, two came flying out. Mm, all right. Oh, no, three came out. Okay. You may be dealing with a Leo. Don't let pride get in your way. Mm, this person may have like a big ego on them. Okay, a new start is coming. A new romantic cycle begins. Maybe a Libra here as well. Hmm. So I told you like this person's very much focused on you. <sighs> they may not be talking just now. It's just something to do with their pride, their ego. Maybe they don't want to be like the first to kind of break the communication or admit they were wrong about something. Or like, honestly, if they ran to another person or they ran back to some sort of vice that they've already, you know, always had, um, it may just, yeah, they're kind of like, anxious um apprehensive 
about admitting that that wasn't good for them okay so yeah i feel like they're their higher selves trying to tell them that you know like don't don't be stupid don't let your ego get in the way just admit it wasn't the right thing to do um you know and, th and they're very much focused on this new start with you this new romantic chapter with you okay so in their mind it is coming here <laughs> so i just feel there's something as well about like how how dedicated you've been to them and there's some lesson they're learning about how dedicated they are to you you know i was saying like they want to reciprocate how dedicated you've been i just feel like it, you know that was tested um and and this person's um I don't know, like trying not to be so selfish now or something, I'm getting. Like they may have just been all about them a bit before. All right, the lovers, Gemini energy. So there could be a choice between people. Um, but obviously, you know, it's, it's a very strong soul bond the two of you have. And they love you very much. Queen of Swords, okay, air energy. So I do feel they may be cutting someone out, a karmic person out. Nine of Wands, hmm. So this is someone I feel they have been they have been ruled by their ego a lot and you know ego is all about like fears and things but they're kind of um putting that behind them you know this is about like standing your ground and kind of going for what you want and, and not letting those fears hold you back so i feel like this person like there's just something here person or thing like a kind of crutch this person relied on right some sort of but it's like, like a dark attachment you know some sort of addiction or something that that was kind of their familiarity um what's this saying oh god i can't think of the saying something about devil um Put in the comments, <laughs> I can't even think what the saying is at all, it's just something about devil, like, but, but sort of being, like, kind of chaos, being um, almost like your comfort zone, it's what you're used to, alright, but I feel like there's something this person is cutting out so that they can um, move things forward with you. And they may be going through quite a transformation now, okay? Because the butterflies here, they could be, you know, working on this now. Let's get one more. Ooh. All right. Uh, husband and wife of the tarot, king of sword. You may be, well be dealing with an air sign. Hmm. I mean... They do really see you as their like vibrational match, okay? And so whatever's gone on with them so far, it's like they, they do still see you and them working out, you know? And they still, they see you as like someone who really is their match, you know? So when they think of like this new romantic cycle, Okay, and you know, the scales, like being balanced, being equal. Okay, they do see you as that person. Um, I don't know if you've ever talked about marriage, but I do feel like they think of marrying you, you know? Hmm. Let's get some messages from them. What do they want to say? 
So yeah, it's kind of like you took your attention back on you, which is like the best thing to do. And now their attention is, you know, very much on you. So I just feel this person got to kind of break through this ego, which I feel like they're doing, you know, they're leaving like ego and fears in the past. Um, and just like reach out because I don't feel like you're talking just now. But they're definitely cutting out negative influences in their life. So that's a good thing. So what do you want to say? Ooh, see, it was you. It was always you. You know, you are and they don't have to be. You don't have to be like air signs, but you, you know, you're like, they're a forever person. Husband, wife. And if they ran off and tried to replace you with someone else or something else, this is what they've concluded. No, it was you. Sorry. Sorry, I've kind of fucked around and... <laughs> uh ran off and done whatever but I, you know i've, I've realized it's, it is you and they always knew that you know deep down i'm not blind to the signs i do see them all right okay so i do, i touched on it earlier but i do feel this person's just getting more in touch with their higher self and they're just becoming like more awake and just maybe being more open to seeing things and they're starting to see like your name around or just even like um advice about this situation like it could be in films or in a song or something and you know it's a similar scenario to what the two of you have gone through and they're like and in, in like in the film or the song there's some sort of advice that they're like oh yeah that would help in this situation or you know something like that you really are the best thing that has ever happened to me so they needed they needed these karmic lessons you know to really come to that conclusion nobody else compares honestly um you know and that's why like, I, I feel like this is coming fairly soon. Like, this person's already reached that conclusion. I don't think it'll be long before you um, hear from them. But, you know, it's, it's all energy or thoughts. So it'll be different for everyone, you know. And if there's anyone watching and they're like, no, I'll never hear from them again. It's what you're affirming and it's what you're going to keep manifesting. But I do feel this is quite imminent. Some people don't want to see us together, but I don't care. So they're definitely, you know, and I feel like this is part of what you're sick of. It's like interference here. So that could be exes, it could be friends, family. Um, and, you know, that's what I said, like they're cutting out those types of people. So it may have been an issue, like they listen to people before like that. Oh, you shouldn't be with them. It's probably jealousy, you know, and so that's where like the repeated pattern kept coming in. But now they're cutting them out and they're like, you know what, F you, like I don't care. You know, I want to be with my person, with the person that I've always known, you know, deep down that I should be with. Okay, so I'm going to leave it here, guys.